Ciao ragazzi and welcome to another video of Lab Kids. It has been a challenging week and I also want to apologize for not releasing the video last Sunday. Just priorities have changed. I have, you know, a baby to take care of and sometimes things just really get serious and I don't have time to, to do YouTube videos. It's not like I do love actually being on YouTube and stuff but sometimes especially with a baby and being a new parent it just doesn't work out and on those days it's just like stay calm, do everything else, take care of the baby, you know, enjoy being with the baby. If you've been, for those who have been following this channel you know that I'm exclusively pumping because I've not been able to breastfeed and just I've showed how much milk I'm producing, I'm actually producing a lot of milk between a liter to a liter point four per day which is more than enough for a two months old but imagine how painful it is to know that you're able to produce milk enough milk but you cannot give it to your baby or your baby is not accepting it so that is what I have been dealing with like going to the emergency clinic going to the doctors, going to consult with a midwife and trying to find solutions what is wrong with my breast milk. I have been always pumping and giving the baby milk through a bottle. It has been working out very well for the first um, six, I would say seven, uh, seven weeks. Absolutely working amazing. And it all started last week Friday when uh, she just started not really refusing initially started with just crying a lot like she's in pain after feeding like crazy then that I was not even suspecting that the uh, problem could be my milk and that went on for Friday evening she was crying pretty much the whole evening and the whole night and she couldn't feed she would wake up hungry and she couldn't feed, she couldn't sleep. She would probably was like sleeping for maybe 30 minutes, wakes up because she was hungry. And then I when I when I tried to give her a bottle, like um, she would take it for maybe 10 ml. She would take maybe 10 ml. And after that she started crying. She started crying red again, just in intense pain. Of course, it's normal. I know that's normal for newborns to cry all the time and a lot and most of the time. But it's you know, this was not like normal cry, this was really like intense, like I'm in pain, help me, you know, like it was really something unusual. And she was always a gentle, quiet, smooth baby. Saturday, same thing from morning to evening. Pretty much, she woke up around six on Saturday morning. And she didn't go to sleep until around uh, around 12. And then she slept me for two hours or so. And then she was awake again. And not feeding, like, not sleeping. Very exhausted, very hungry at the same time and crying all the time. And when it was time to feed, I really had to insist I was only taking like 10, 20, 30 ml or not more than that. So I knew immediately something was wrong because I was already feeding, able to feed her about 80 ml when she was just two weeks old. And out of the sudden, she dropped from 120 ml to a 10 or 30, just very minimal. On Sunday morning, kind of, um, we were exhausted, tired. I think Sunday we were already in the living room from 4 a.m and we were exhausted and my partner suggested that we try powder milk which she just took right away but we were already like uh, on our way to the emergency room because we really wanted to find out what was wrong and we proceeded to the hospital when we got so we get first gave our first feed of powder milk around i would say about around 5 a.m then she slept for maybe 30 minutes then we went to the clinic and then we give her another bottle of powder milk 
and she took it again and then we went to the consultation which took like forever we went there around early in the morning and we only we were assisted around 12 because there were so many cases um the doctor said okay you know what your baby has um yeast infection on the tongue now, to myself i was really surprised because i've been reading like a lot of books about babies you know feeding growth newborns all sort of things but i've never came across this information and my midwife also have never has never spoken to us about it so we came back with like a yeast infection treatment and great so when we came back home of course everybody know breast milk is the most important most nutritional and just the healthiest food you can give to your baby we gave her we came back home and we we're like okay good we have the treatment we're just going to give her breast milk again and then give her the treatment but again she was not taking it like she would take a bottle of formula very well stay quiet then i will come in with a bottle of uh, breast milk like the next feed and she would just refuse it if you take a bit then she'll start crying for probably the next two hours i was so frustrated and that was like the whole sunday monday morning i went again to a doctor and this time i wanted a different opinion and my first the first thing i was already speculating breast milk because i was like there's no way I'm doing everything else the same except that when I'm giving breast milk she's not taking it and I went there with a sample looking for if they wanted if they could actually take this sample of breast milk have a look at it and check what could be in it that might be causing the baby to react this way and yeah I also wrote to my midwife and everybody said no that is not possible so I could not find any option for analysis on these samples came back home I pretty much came back with the information from the doctor that just said give as much breast milk as possible is the best thing for the child I totally understand but to see a child in pain and you don't know what is wrong with the milk or if she has got a problem with the milk it's also frustrating so I came back home I gave another 50 ml was crying again and I was like okay good we are just feeding formula and since then we have been giving formula and she's pretty much taking it very well now what was very surprising is that nobody's doing this sample analysis I mean we have 2021 I was surprised that nobody's analyzing breast milk I honestly didn't know that so it was just like oh, okay go give as much breast milk as possible and I want to but it's difficult because every time I was giving her that she was crying so I've been just here skipped from uh, breast milk went to formula been current so currently feeding with the formula milk the we have a goat based uh, powder milk that we're giving her and then the sad part is that i'm still really producing enough milk and i've been and still pumping because i'm hoping that one day maybe i'm going to get to a solution and hoping that maybe she's going I don't know I'm just hoping that we're going to get over this and be able to go back to breast milk at the moment there's no solution other than just uh, weight or everybody has recommended breast milk I'm not giving that because then she's in pain and the rest is just uh, weight slowly the other other recommendation also the thing was like if, if formula milk is working just give that and then you wait maybe for a week and go back to breast milk which i didn't do because i was really i don't know i know also that breast milk is the best for the baby and i was a little bit hesitant about going for a week without breast milk because i felt like she's going to get used to the formula teas they might end up refusing it but nevertheless that what i tried to do recommended by the midwife and the second doctor that way I went for a consultation also didn't wait like just giving breast milk right away so I really just had to resort to giving formula. Amorina. I don't know why she's looking at she's it's so quiet. And this she has not been like this the past few weeks. It's not a few weeks but the past few days, especially the last five days has been just 
out of character. So a sudden day came out, just exhausted and was like, no, I don't have time for this today. I'm really just gonna be on the couch, stay with the baby, chill with the baby, and we see how things are progressing. I called like, uh, I don't know if it's the ministry, I think it's the Ministry of Health in my area here in the region and they say no we don't do the analysis however if you have a lot of milk that you're not using uh you're welcome to donate it to our banks and we can use it for to feed to kids whose mothers are not able to produce milk i'm like i'm not like here to donate yet i want to find a solution so i can also give my newborn the best milk that i'm producing but yeah you're feeling better and let's see if you're going to get to somewhere where we can uh, we can go into breast milk. I also wanted to know this is something I've been researching a lot the past few days because I wanted to know if the child can kind of uh, develop maybe a negative reaction towards breast milk after she has been already taking it for seven weeks. Of course, she is developing, and we don't know much about her yet. Just every few weeks is uh, different, she's changing. But I, I'm just saying, like, my mind is telling me, you have been giving your baby this milk for seven weeks, so why is it, why is she not taking it now? Or could that really be the end, that after seven weeks she's no longer, the body's no longer, the breast milk's no longer compatible with her body and or digestive system, and then we have to stop there. I'm, I'm not sure, and the doctors are not giving me answers yet. The last consultation I had, literally just go back. Uh, we checked the weight, everything. The weight was not even like uh, the weight it was supposed to be. It's a little bit already slow on the weight because she was not feeding. But still, just go home, try to give as much breast milk as possible and see how it progresses the next three days and come back. So that's where we are at at the moment. I'm pretty much a short update of what I've been dealing with. Staying at home, trying to make sure that Olivia is feeling better and trying to look for a solution for this problem. And if things get better, then we'll go back to filming vlogs and then see you in our next video. Ciao, ciao, ciao. And again, apology if you don't see me here some days. Just know that I'm really busy with uh, my new role as a mother. I'm not able to do, you know, to, to, to just come here and do YouTube for me like I used to do before. It's not possible anymore. Ciao.